So hello and good afternoon. I'm going to finish up this series by comparing a commercial steel BR430 to a homeowner Ryobi, oh whatever it is, but it's their gas machine. Okay, obviously the first thing, it's just, it's a tank. It's meant to be thrown around, it can fall off the shelves. Uh, I've seen people just drop them. Uh, it's built to take it. Um, boy, she couldn't. It wouldn't survive that atmosphere. But homeowners don't treat their tools like that, I hope. Uh, engine size, this is a 63cc two-stroke. This is a 38cc two-stroke. So the power is just astronomically different. This is just... It's a commercial machine. It performs like it's supposed to. Um, as far as the front of it, you see, it's a flexible tube. Uh, most of the guys out in the field store it like this on their racks. I never. I always chose not to. I always believe in just the less stress on the bellows, the better. But I have to admit, I've never seen a, a steel bellows ever fail. So it used to be an issue in the 80s. So that's this, it for this machine, and then we look at this one really quickly. Again, the stiff bellows, you have a very light amount of movement that you can do. If you force it, it will rip. I've learned that the hard way. And if I can show you one more thing, I don't want to run long. You remember I said that I liked the restrictor that gives me more miles per hour. This machine actually provides a decent amount of CFM. So that's why I keep the two. This one is my uh, pinpoint machine. This one does a larger area with more CFM. So the two of them make a good combination. So all right, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, have a wonderful day.